to Planet X News. It is July 29th, 2019. And folks, the last couple of days, we've had two very large asteroids that have flown by the Earth within a lunar distance, which is equivalent to approximately 238,000 miles. The distance between the Earth and the Moon. Now, these two large asteroids named 2019-OK and 2019-OD came very, very close to the Earth in their path. Now, both of these asteroids were quite large. We're going to go over the information on the 2019-OK asteroid which flew by the Earth on July 25th, 2019. That object belonged to the Apollo group of asteroids. It was first discovered uh, at an observatory in Brazil on the 24th of July, 2019. So, once again, early detection of these large asteroids is failing. Because this asteroid had an estimated diameter of between 187 and 426 feet. They label asteroids such as this 2019 OK as city killers. Meaning, if it impacted anywhere near a city, it would wipe it out completely. Now, both of these asteroids came in at approximately 43,000 miles to 45,000 miles per hour, which is very, very fast. If any of you know anything about kinetic energy, well, a space rock that is between 200 and 400 feet in diameter that impacts the Earth at approximately 40,000 miles per hour, well, that kinetic energy would be absolutely devastating. At the time of the actual sighting or the detection, they make several observations uh, during this time period. They have a, a, a numerical system of labeling these asteroids from zero to nine. Nine being critical. Both of these asteroids had an uncertainty estimate that's the number I'm speaking of, that uncertainty estimate was nine, meaning they were very uncertain if that asteroid, 2019 OK, would impact the Earth. The same applied for the asteroid the day before, on July 24th, 2019, asteroid labeled 2019 OD. Now you can clearly see with the diagrams in front of you showing you the orbit and the close call of both of these asteroids. Let's just face it folks, either one of these asteroids, if they would have impacted the Earth, would have been catastrophic if they were in any civilized areas, meaning cities or states or countries. It would have been absolutely devastating. This is something that we have seen escalate since 2016. And you can see by the charts scrolling across your screen, we've had some pretty active months over the past two years. So, folks, let's think about what would actually happen if one of these large asteroids impacted our planet. Most of you would remember the asteroid meteor impact in Chelyabinsk, Russia in 2013. That was a small rock and it landed in a semi-uninhabited area. However, you've all seen the videos 
it did some devastation. It injured a lot of people. It damaged over 1,500 buildings. People were injured from spraying glass and debris from the, uh, from the impact. Now, let's say, for instance, hypothetically, this impact of a rock the size of one of these two asteroids impacted a city or in the middle of a country. Well, let's think about this. Not only would we suffer the massive impact of that asteroid, it would spew additional debris high, very, very high into the sky, into the atmosphere. That would be pieces of rock, pieces of the asteroid, and pieces of Earth. Therefore, they would continue to spray down upon the Earth afterwards. Just think about the heat, the amount of heat that kinetic energy and that explosion would generate. And we also must think about what it would do to our upper atmosphere, literally blocking out the sun for who knows how long. So monitoring these near-Earth objects is something that we must continue to do and not take lightly in any way. This is Scott from Planet X News. Thank you for watching.